For the last few years, Bill Maher has sparked controversy for his views on religion, particularly for his views on Islam. Lately, he's been defending those views by saying he's just speaking uncomfortable truths. He's standing up for the principles of all liberalism. In his words, in the Muslim world, that is what's lacking. On Friday's HBO's Real Time, Ben Affleck pushed back against this criticism, and he pushed back hard. You're saying that Islamophobia is not a real thing, that if you're critical of something... It well, it's not a real thing when we do it. Right. <laughs> well, well, no, it no, really no, isn't. I, I'm not denying not, that, that certain people are bigoted against Muslims as people, that's, right. and that's a that's problem. big of you. But... The, but why have, are you so hostile to, about this concept? It's, it's gross. It's racist. It's, it's not. Racist. It's but it's so not. It's, so, it's like saying it's those so not your shifty Jew. You're not listening Absolutely to not. what well, we are saying. You guys are saying but, if you want to be liberals, believe in liberal principles right. like freedom of speech, like right. um, you know we are endowed by our uh, forefathers with an inalienable life, like all men are created. No, equal. Ben, we have to be able to criticize bad ideas. And of course we Islam, do. No liberal doesn't okay, want to okay. criticize bad ideas. But Islam but why when, is the mother load of bad ideas. Jesus. So we have we have that's just a fact. It is an ugly thing. How about the more than a billion, those, billion people those who aren't fanatical, who don't punch well, women, who just want to go to school? Okay, wait a second. 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 All right, two things. First of all, the definition of Muslims as people who just want to go to the store, eat sandwiches, and pray five times a day is basically perfect and can't be improved upon. Second of all, put me down in the Ben Affleck camp on this strongly. I think to suggest that what is happening in the most extreme form in some Muslim countries is representative of the views of all Muslims is gross and racist, or to obsess over what the particular problem with Islam is. What's also a bit gross is that these are five non-Muslim guys sitting around talking about what the Muslims think. And from that standpoint, it's just a very weird conversation to have. If you just change the faith, everyone would immediately recognize it as bizarre or offensive. For instance, can you imagine a conversation with a group of Gentiles sitting around the table having a conversation about the Jews being particularly violent or that the Jews believe X, Y, and Z? It is inconceivable for very good reason. For more than 12 years now, the American media has had this debate about the nature of violent Islam and the nature of the Islamic religion as a distinctly nefarious force in world affairs, yet time and time again, there is this conversation that occasionally bubbles to the surface about the Muslims that so often doesn't actually include, you know, Muslims. So if you're going to have this conversation about the Muslims are this, or the Muslims are that, or the Muslims believe X, Y, and Z, then have it with someone who actually practices the faith you're talking about. Like this conversation, which I found a bit more enlightening. So, Reza, you don't think that there's anything more, there's the justice system in Muslim countries, you don't think, is somehow more primitive or subjugates women more than in other countries? Did you hear what you just said? You said in Muslim countries. Mm. I just told you that Indonesia, women are absolutely 100% equal to men. Mm. In Turkey, they have had more female representatives, more female heads of state in Turkey than we have in the United yes, States. But in Pakistan, Stop saying are, things like Pakistan, Muslim countries. Still... Turns out, as a general rule, that asking people to explain what they believe and why is a whole lot more enlightening than speculating about their beliefs as if they're not in the room.